Well, I'd like to welcome you guys to uh, the first interactive tutorial for uh, the road to Michigan. If you guys got Fishing Planet, um, this is going to be the, uh, the video for you guys. I've seen a lot of guys that come on the stream, <clears throat> should I say come and play, and they don't like the grind. They don't like going to certain lakes because it's very slow. It's a very tedious process to play this game. This game is not a, a, a game that is a very fast paced game. So if you guys do buy Fishing Planet, you guys also have to remember that um, fishing is slow sometimes. It's not always fast, but we are gonna show you how to catch them fast. We're gonna show you live how to catch them fast. Not just me. Any other video that you guys see out there, you guys always see one person on the stream. Only one. Guess what? You may see just me, but I'm not alone. I'm not alone. Because for the first time, for the first time, we're going to do an interactive, an interactive tutorial for all you guys out there. For all you guys out there. I'm not going to be the only person fishing on the lake, okay? I got some celebrity fishing people with me right now. I got my main man, Dom. And I got my main man, Maurice, got money. And I got my main man, Bones. And guess what? We're going to go to three lakes today in our part one, in our part one interactive tutorial. We're going to go to three lakes today. And we're going to show you everything that you guys need. Everything that you guys need to make it to Michigan. But right now, <clears throat> we got three lakes that we got to go to. Right now, we're gonna go to Texas. We're gonna grind out. We're not gonna grind out. We're gonna show you guys how to go to Texas and catch those small little fish on red worms and on the little telefloat bait pole that they give you guys to catch these fish. Now, the objective right now, when we go over here to Texas, everybody who's watching, the objective is to go to Texas and to grind out enough bait coins, enough bait coins to get an unlimited premium license at Texas. Now I'm gonna go to my screen real quick. We gotta get an unlimited premium license at Texas because you cannot keep the beautiful bass over there, those $100 bass, unless you have a premium license. You cannot get the premium license unless you spend seven bait coins. If you look at the top of the screen right next to my name or right below my name, um, you'll see a 15. That's Prestige 15. That's 15 levels above level 40, which is the highest you can go. And then you have 13, which is the amount of bait coins that I have. And then obviously you see the amount of money that I have. The bait coins is what you need to get the unlimited premium license at Texas Lone Star Lake. So, hello guys, all you guys on the stream. I appreciate you guys coming to the stream, man. Sorry it took me so long to get the stream up. But, Texas, when you get the premium license, it's going to really super duper allow you to, first of all, let's go to the settings. Nobody wants to tell you how to do your settings on the controller. I'm going to tell you real quick. You just got the game you may not know. On the settings where it says down over here on the bottom on the game, right here where it says tackle loadout indicator, you got the pro, you got the simple, okay? You don't want it on the simple, you always want it on the pro. Make sure that you set your controllers on the pro, number one. Set your controllers on the pro. Number two, we're gonna go to the bobber size. You make sure you got your bobber size on big. You know, make sure you got a big bobber size on there. You got your little hem your little hints on here, your little tutorial hints, make sure that's on. We're gonna go to controller because this is another big, big, big part of catching these fish. There's some videos out there that are six, eight, nine months old. Nobody wants to tell you anything new. They put patches in the game. They put new stuff in the game. They put a beautiful thing where there's a vibration on your controller. So there's two vibrations that you want to make sure that you have on. Make sure both vibrations are on. Please make sure both vibrations are on. That's going to definitely help you out. The sensitivity, 
make sure your sensitivity is, you know, sensitivity at 50% uh, 50 50 is fine. Now, we're going to go to another special thing that they put in the patch that nobody's put out there. Audio. We're going to go to audio. This is going to help you guys out for float fishing. Float fishing is going to be beautiful. Before, you had to hold your controller in your hand and your controller vibrated and then you reacted to the fish. Right now, they got a ding. They got a ding on it. So right now, if you look to the far right-hand side where it says float fishing bite sound on the far right, you make sure that that is on. That means that if you're sitting there and you set your controller down, all of a sudden you got your TV up and your TV goes ding, ding, okay? That, that's letting you know that you're about to get a bite, okay? That's right, Santino Interactive Tutorial, baby. We're getting it in right now. So that lets you know that you guys are getting a bite. You have got to make sure that you have that fishing float bite sound on. Now, we are going to go back to the Texas Lone Star license that you are going to need. The reason why you need to grind out these bass. You're not going to ground out, grind out the small little fish. You're going to grind out these bass. Okay? The bass are very, very important to ranking up and getting what you need to get in order to move up. I suggest if you get the game, don't spend all your money on fishing poles and this and that. Don't do all of that stuff. Do me a favor. We're going to tell you whatever poles you need. We're going to show you the poles that you're going to use. We're going to show you the lure poles we're going to use. But right now, we're going to show you the license that you need. So right now, we're going to go to the shop. Okay? You hit the L1 to go to the shop. You hit the R2 or the L2 to cycle through the bottom portion of this of the menu once you get to the licenses you're gonna scroll down hypothetically we're gonna scroll down to Texas oops we're gonna scroll down to Texas at the very bottom and we're gonna click X okay now when we click X when we click X you're gonna see two <coughs> you're gonna see two licenses that come up you're gonna see a basic Texas license right there uh-uh. You guys watching this stream right now, you guys watching this interactive tutorial, remember one thing. Do not buy any basic license on any lake. Do not buy any basic license on any lake. Hardhead makes soft boo-boo, don't do it. Buy the advanced license on every lake. The advanced license isn't going to cost you bait coins on every lake. It's just going to cost you money. But in order to get the unlimited Texas, li Texas uh, license, it costs you seven bait coins. So we're going to move over. And then if you scroll down, if you scroll down, you can't, oops, you can't scroll down on it because I already paid for it. But where it says unlimited and there's a seven on the bottom, that's seven bait coins. That's the objective that you guys are going to do right now at Texas Lake. You're going to grind, 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 level, level, level. It's going to give you another bait coin. Another level is going to give you another bait coin. Once you get seven bait coins, the first thing that you guys should be doing is getting that advanced license right there, hands down. Don't do anything else with your bait coins other than spend that money on that license right there because that license is going to help you out in the long run just in case you get stuck in the, in the game. It's going to allow you to keep those $100 bass, and we're going to teach you how to catch those $100 bass darn near every cast. Every cast, we're darn near going to get you a $100 bass. So let's go right now. You guys know how to get the un unlimited license. Now we're going to go to the interactive, interactive, interactive tutorial. I got my main man, Dom. Dom, can I hear your voice, Dom? Talk to the public, Dom. What's going on, guys? I got my main man, Maurice Got Money, up in the stream. Maurice Got Money is going to show you guys how to catch fish, too. They with me also. I ain't alone. I'm not alone on this stream, on this tutorial. Right now, we got Maurice Got Money. Give him a shout-out, Maurice. Yo, what's up, yo? What's up, yo? Maurice. Dom, if you guys want the public to know, type up your name on the bottom. Type up your screen name, your PSN name on the bottom and let them know. I did put the name on the description of the stream to let you guys know if you guys want to send them a friend's request. They're right there for you guys. You guys love Fishing Planet. You want to get good. These guys are willing to help you out. Anyway, we're going to travel right now to Texas Lake. And we're going to show you how to catch those little teeny small little fish off red worms. Let's go, guys. You guys ready? The travel cost is nothing to go to Texas. We're pressing square. Uh, 
Uh, I need a moderator in my stream. Moderator. Okay, guys. Um, my suggestion is, guys, that you uh, that you always spawn um, by the bridge right there. You can spawn um, if I can move it over. Hold on. Okay, it's not gonna let me move it over like that. So we just gonna go. Here it is. All right, we're gonna press X and we're gonna go to friends room right now. All right, the room is up, guys. Come on in. All right, guys, we are at Texas Lone Star Lake right now. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I got my little silver lure on here, the casting spoon, one six ounce, uh, two out hook. Um, the guy should be coming in. Dom just came in just now. Um, you're going to get to see Dom. He's, he's gained a little weight lately. You know, Dom's gained a little weight. We call him we call him Furry Dom over here on Fishing Planet. You know what I'm, oh, there he is right there. Oh, Dom, you got you went on a diet, Dom. You went on a diet the last time I saw you. You look so good, Dom. Anyway, um, we're waiting on my man Maurice. How you doing, Maurice? You all right? Yeah, I'm all right. Yeah, I'm all right. Uh, uh, always. You change your real speed, me versus you. This is a tutorial. You change your real speed by moving up on your keypad up and down. If you look at the circle on the right-hand side of the screen, you're going to see the arrows move down. See the arrows move down? That is changing your drag speed. If you want to change your real, if that, that changes your real speed, excuse me. If you want to change your drag speed, you move your keypad over to the left and you see the bars move over. So if you're about to break your line, you want to back up off your drag a little so you don't break it. Your real speed, we're going to be doing bait fishing, float fishing right now. Um, so you should have your float fishing out, rod out, Dom. Um, Maurice, we're waiting on you. Do we have to go to another room? No. no, no, no. I gotta double check and make sure that I got the right, the right uh, bait rod on here for you guys. You guys obviously can see. I'm gonna show you guys. You guys are gonna start out with a telefloat. I'm gonna show you guys right now. When you first start out, you're gonna start out with a telefloat 14.9. You're gonna have a mini spin 800 on your reel. Okay. My suggestion is. You got worms, okay? Get your worms, get your little float on there, and we're going to do float fishing. Um, the leader, you can see the leader's at 20, okay? The leader's over here on the right-hand side. The leader's at 20 right there, okay? So make sure your leader's at 20, and we are going to uh, we are gonna get some float fishing in right now. See if we can catch a few fish for you guys um, to explain to you guys how to level up enough to get those bait coins. This is a very, very tedious process to float fish, but you got to do what you got to do. Oh, there's Maurice right there. Okay, guys. Well, here we go. Dom, are you ready? Uh, let's get it in, Maurice. Uh, you guys know the routine. We're waiting on you. Here we go. Float fishing right here at Texas Lone Star. This is what you call the grind. It ain't fun, but it will get fun. Oops. You want to you want to cast near the lily pads, guys. You know what I mean? I'm I'm actually in the wrong spot. You kind of want to cast in the lily pads, you know, near the lily pads. You know, you'll hear the ding. Uh, if you guys get bit over there, you guys know the routine. We're gonna try to catch a couple of fish for you guys just to show you how easy it is, but it's a grind. There's a ding right there. We just got dinged. And we just got bit. Okay. That's how quick it is to catch a fish. Okay. It ain't a lot of money. It's a green sunfish. You got 12 bucks. Okay. I got five experience points. Okay. But it's a fish. You press circle. You press keep. Okay. Make sure, um, guys, I'm going to reiterate. And one thing that I haven't explained to you guys. Hey, what the hell is going on? Dom, hold on one second, guys. I appreciate my moderators being on the stream right now, handling business for me when I need them. So anyway, get those baits back in that water. Here we go. Please. 
please excuse me for one second. You know, when you run an interactive stream like this, you always have uh, people that, um, you know, aren't necessarily the nicest people in the world. So what we got to do is we just got to, we just got to do what we normally do. Oh, we just got dinged. There's another one. Oh, he got one. Okay, you guys got one over here. Okay, let's check you out. Let's check you out. Let's see what they got over here. Let's see what they got. All right, that's what I'm talking about. There we go. There we go. Uh, come on up here. Let me see what you're working with, Dom. All right, that's what I'm talking about, guys. Dom act like he don't know how the process. There we go. That's what I'm talking about, guys. All right. Now, look, this is the process. We're going to go right now to bass fishing guys you guys know the process all of us just got a fish it's a long process it's a tedious process but you got to do it um if you notice on the top left hand side of the screen it says fish castle xxl when you guys start out you're only going to be able to keep so many fish in your fish keep and i'm not sure dom do you know exactly the weight on the fish keep in the very beginning that you start out with I believe like put them away guys Very low. Wow, I didn't even mean to kick. All right, now look, guys. Um, as you can see, I really didn't even mean, didn't even mean to catch a little gold shiner, but. If you guys continue to grind out this area right here, you'll continue to level up. Once you get to a uh, level, um, I want to say eight. Is it eight, right, uh, Dom? Yes. Okay, once you get to level eight, you're going to be able to buy another fish keep. The fish keep that you're going to buy at level eight is going to cost you, uh, I think it's like $2,000 or $2,100 or something like that for the level eight fish keep that's going to allow you to keep more fish. The objective up until you get to level 40 is to get the bigger fish, fish keep that you can so you can keep more fish on the lake so you don't have to keep leaving the lake paying more money to go back to the lake. Certain lakes like Michigan cost you $2,000 every time your day is over with. So you got to make sure that you make that $2,000 back, which is no problem in Michigan. That's one fish, where you know, a, a day, uh, and you don't waste your time. So anyway, guys... We're going to go right now to jig fishing. I'm going to let them throw their lures in the water, and I'm going to show you exactly what kind of lure setup that we're using over here once you get to a certain level. Um, I'm going to give you the exact, uh, what is it? Um, for the lure setup, let's go check the stats real quick. 19 minutes in the stream, we're going to have to zip over to uh, Mud River real quick as soon as we catch a couple of bass. All right, guys, if you guys look over here for the lure setup over here at uh, at um, at uh, Texas Lone Star Lake, you have the value spin 7.6. When you guys set your rods up, it's a quick tutorial on how to set your rods up. If you notice, my line weight of my rod says 3 to 7.5 pounds, maximum 7.5 pounds. My reel, my max drag of my reel has to be lower then 7.5 pounds or I'm going to break my rod or break my reel. So if you look at the Callisto 1400, the max drag on the Callisto 1400 is 4 pounds, 4.4 pounds. So that is under 7.5 pounds. It's okay. If the reel was a little bit higher up to 6.6, 7, 5 point, it's okay. Fine. We got a, a line weight on here. We got the little silver spoon on there, and I think we're running um, four-pound tests, if not three-pound tests on here. Let me make sure. What is this, O2? O2, I can't remember what O2 is. I think O2, O8 is, uh, excuse me. I want to say that O8 is three-pound tests or, or four-pound tests. But anyway, Santino, if they come back, you got to put them on timeout, Captain. 
All right, guys, we're lure fishing right now. You guys know the setup right now. Here we go, bass fishing. Dom, how you guys doing over there? Advance to the peak time, guys. Make sure, I'm gonna tell you right now, a lot of people don't understand. You, if you look on the left-hand side where it says weather forecast, the weather forecast, a lot of people, hold on, let's go watch Dom while he's catching a fish real quick. Oh, Dom's got one on. Let's see what we're working with here. Dom, back to the peak time. You guys, I'm gonna show you the peak time. You can always advance the peak time here in Texas Lone Star every single hour, every single minute if you want to. It doesn't cost any money to advance to the peak time. So you guys should always, always, always be fishing the peak time at Texas Lone Star. Soon as the peak time is over with on most lakes, then you can just advance and continue to fish the peak time. That's what's going to make you the money. That must be a pretty big fish on there that he's got on there. When you start out, there it is right there. There it is. Uh-oh, come over here, Maurice. Come over here and let me see your fish, guys. Face towards the camera over here so everybody can see. This is what you call interactive bass fishing. I told him to throw some lures in the water. Both of them caught bass in under a minute, under two minutes. I mean, unbelievable fishing over here, guys. Don't think that the fish is not good over here. Throw it out there, guys, and let me see if I can cave. You guys can catch another one real quick for the fans. Throw it out there one more time there, Dom. Let me see if Maurice can catch one before you. Hurry up, Dom. You're taking forever. His lure is already in the water. You're taking forever, Dom. But anyway, we're going to go back to the peak time so I can show you. Hopefully, they don't get hooked up before we show you what's up with the peak time. The peak time on the left-hand side, the peak time looks like it's about, about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Anywhere between 1 and 3 in the afternoon, the high yellow sign. Okay, What you want to do is you want to advance your peak time to probably about 11 or 12 o'clock. So you get a little bit before the peak time and then you know a little bit of fishing before the peak time. Then you have your peak time. But right now, what we're going to do to save time, we're just going to advance, advance to the peak time to 3 o'clock in the afternoon or 2 o'clock in the afternoon. We're just going to advance right now to 2 o'clock. Here we go. The way you advance is you press square. You press square and you go to 2 in the afternoon. Move the keypad over to 2 in the afternoon. Make sure you always do this. Oh, look like you got a fish. Hold on. Oh, you got another one. There's another one. Let me see what you're working with, Maurice. What is that? What is that, Maurice? Face towards me. Maurice. Yo. How much XP is that? 14 XP. How much money did you get for that bad boy? 105. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. How many casts was that after you after you caught your other one? One. One. You guys know I need to look over here at me. You guys looking over here on the other side over here. I thought you guys know. Yeah. Hey, what you got over here, Dom? What you working with? Second cast. Nice, nice. All right, guys, I'm gonna throw one in the water. I'm gonna throw, I'm gonna throw it in the water and see if I can catch one real quick. And then we gonna go, we gonna go to Mud River, man. We wasting a lot of time over here showing you guys what's up. But we had to show you Texas Lone Star because this is the big grind lake. And then after we go to Texas Lone Star, it's gonna be a little bit quicker through the tutorial. So. Let me see if I can catch one. We're on retrieval speed two right now. We threw over there to the right-hand side, over there to the, to the tree. And it seems like over there, anywhere on these lily pads, is a real good spot to catch bass. I like to back up off the, the dock a little bit over and, and wind, my, wind my line up over across the, the lake right there a little bit more. So I was actually too far to the right. So what I'm going to do is I'm just moving over a little bit and winding. Now there's a honey hole, guys, right about 50 feet right below me, directly where my, my pole is facing. There's a honey hole. So it seemed, oh, he came up right at it right there. So we're going to cast anywhere over there in the lily pads right there. On this particular spoon right now, I'm using a silver one. But if this one doesn't work, then I'm going to change over to a, to a gold. I'm going to make one more cast. You in your peak time, Dom? Yes. We, we always stay towards the bottom, usually on any lures. Most lures, we always stay towards the bottom. We do a stop and go. Just a little tap, 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 tap. Stop and go on the bottom. You know what I mean? Just like that. As a lure just flutters on the bottom right there. That's all we're doing. 
Oh, he just bit it right there. Boom. Look at that. Ha ha. He bit it right there. Nice. Mister, look at that trophy. Trophy white crappie. $97. $97. We're talking about 45 XP. First cast out there. Second cast. Hey. You can catch the fish out here at Texas Lake. Don't think that you can't catch them. You guys got to put the grind in there. You got to put the grind, and you too can catch the fish. As soon as you get enough... Oh, hold on one second. Let me see. As soon as you guys get enough money, as soon as you guys get enough money to buy the rods and the reels, um, then you guys can move up. Right now, we are going to travel. You guys got to make sure before you leave Texas Lone Star that you got enough money. You're gonna have you're gonna have to have enough money to buy um an Aspira Slim 2500 K okay, in order to go to the next lake. I'm gonna tell you right now, and it's it's an Aspira Slim 2500. It's a level 10 reel. Okay, it's a spinning reel. It is a spinning reel, and it's cost thirty five hundred dollars. Okay. Then you gotta get an omni float. You gotta get an omni float, which is a, a match rod. It is a match rod. It is a level nine. It is a level nine, and um, it costs twenty one hundred dollars. Okay, um, you guys got to make sure that you get those two setups right there, and we're gonna bring you to Michigan quick. We're gonna bring you to Michigan quick. Don't buy anything else than what we tell you to buy. Look at that beautiful fish right there. Don't buy anything else than what we tell you to buy. What's going on, Michael Smith? We're doing a, a live interactive tutorial right now. All right, guys, put that away right now. We're going to fast travel right now. We're going to let you know how much it is. We're leaving the lake. We're going to fast travel over to Texas or to uh, Mud River, Louisiana, or excuse me, uh, Missouri. So we're going to leave here. Now we're going to Mud River, guys. We're going to tell you how much the travel fee is to Mud River. I appreciate that, Santino. I hope that anybody that watches this tutorial can really understand where we're coming from, can really get the gist of where to catch fish at, and we're going to try to make sure that everybody that watches this stream is going to be able to catch fish just like we catch fish. So keep watching. Right now, we're going to go to Mud River. Mud River would be the next lake that you guys go to. Mud River's got some nice catfish in there. It's got some nice pickerels in there. It's got some nice bass in there. This is what you call a grind, okay? It is a grind. A grind. Don't forget for one second that any game that you play is not a grind. You have got to put your time in and you've got to catch those fish in order to rank up. They're, ju they're just not going to let you catch 30 or 40 pound fish and you just started the game. You got to work your way up to it. So right now we're working our way up to Mud River. The travel cost is $1,500 plus the $300 for one day. That's $1,800 to travel. Make sure you have enough money to travel. Make sure that you buy shiner or small, what are they, uh, Dom? Small minnows? Yeah. yeah. Small minnows. Right. Make sure you guys buy small minnows in the shop. You could buy small minnows at what level, Dom? I think you can buy small minnows at like level eight or something like that. Something like that. <clears throat> yeah. All right. Level seven. Oh, level seven. Okay, there you go. There you go. So make sure that you buy small minnows. Don't forget. Make sure you got enough money to travel. Make sure you come over here with the right rod and reel that I told you. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the very top over here to Catfish Heaven. That's where we are going to catch our pickerels right now. We are going pickerel fishing, okay? Let's go pickerel fishing, guys. All right, the room is up. I appreciate my moderator, Erica Davis, coming in to make sure that the stream on the tutorial on the live interactive 2018, January 1st, live interactive tutorial is going to go good. And I got my moderators in here to make sure it goes good. So I want to say thank you to all my moderators out there that are holding it down. All right, guys, we're waiting on my two guys over here to spawn in here. There we go. We got Dom in here. We're waiting on my main man, Maurice. Yeah, he yeah, show up. Show up. 
Okay. Soon as soon as Maurice gets over here, he's gonna come over here. But me and Dom are gonna walk over here. We're not gonna wait waste a lot of time. We're gonna come over here. Now, guys, there's a couple of spots to catch to catch pickerels over here. But to be all honest with you, you grab your little float rod. The float rod that I told you guys to get. Hopefully, you bought it. The Aspira. We're gonna show it to you again. We're gonna show you the the, the float rod that that we uh, asked you to get. We're going to highlight it so you guys see exactly what we told you. The Omni Float 1410. We got the Aspera uh, Slim 2500. We got a uh, uh, six pound Max Drag, and I think we got six pound Tess on here. Okay. Um, wow, what do we got cut bait on that bad boy for? What, what were we using last time? We we're using a. Oh, I changed it. That's what I did. That's what I did. I changed it to cut bait, so I have to put my minnows back on here, my little minnows. Gotta go to my bait and grab my little minnows. Oh, my little shiners, we using shiners or small minnows? Small minnows, right? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're using small minnows, guys. We got a leader, we gotta put our leader back because we are fishing for catfish. We gotta put our leader back to, I wanna say the leader was at 30 of mine. Okay, so we're gonna put the leader back at 30. We're gonna go in right now, we're going in, okay? Well, I guess we're not going in. So, come on fool, pull it out. There we go. All right, we got the Omni Flow, we got the bobber. We're gonna cast over on the right hand side. Go ahead and throw it in there, guys. Come on, geriatrics, let's go, man. Maurice is sleeping on the job over here, you know what I'm saying? Maurice had a long night last night. He had a, he caught a big fish last night, so you know he's a little tired right now. All right, guys, we're gonna show you how to catch pickerels. We're gonna show you how to catch a few fish over here. Um, oh, you know what I needed to do? You know what I didn't do? You know what I didn't do? I didn't check my peak time. See, I tell you guys to check your peak time, and you don't check your peak time, and this is what happens. You don't get bit in the first second, couple of seconds, and you don't get a ding. Make sure you check your peak time. Well, right now, our peak time is about 8 o'clock in the morning. So we're going to show you guys 8 o'clock in the morning peak time. We're going to advance. Make sure you advance to peak time, guys. <clears throat> now, peak time is very important. As long as you guys are in your peak time, you guys are going to always catch fish. <clears throat> Gotta get your lure in the water, man. You're taking forever, man. Come on, guys. I mean, five minutes was supposed to be catching fish, man. You guys ain't hustling right now. Grinding these pickerels out is a little bit of a tedious process. It's not, you know, this lake is a little slow. I just got dinged just now. Just got dinged. A little process over here. A little slow. Little slow over here. Okay, usually if it doesn't work over here, Dom, Dom says, I'm gonna take control, Mike. And Dom says, Mike, we're gonna go over here. So guess what? We're following Dom. If it doesn't work over here, change it up. We got two more spots for you. Let's go. We ain't wasting a lot of time. Let's go, Dom, Dom, let's go. Furry Dom. Over here, All right, we're throwing the casting spoon out. Uh, 
All right, throw it out there. Let's see it. Well, it seems like this lake is being a little finicky right now. Seems like it's being a little finicky, but we're going to wake this lake up real quick. Yeah, when you, you know, in the very beginning when you start out, guys, you know, like, like I said, it's it's a little bit of a grind, especially on the first couple of lakes, you know, but you're going to see once we start doing the tutorial on, oh, there we go. We got a fish on over here. There we go. Maurice got one on. Let's see what we're working with, Maurice. Make sure you bring it over here. Show it to the camera. Let me see what you're working with. Let me see. Okay, well, what'd you catch him on, Maurice? Uh, Captain's one off. What color? Silver. Okay, okay. He caught it on the silver one over here. I guess I'm the only one out trying to be a different guy over here trying to use gold. You know, if you're able to catch bass on a lure, you're gonna you're gonna improve your your fishing um, a lot faster than you are bait. Plus your money is going to be a lot more because you're not spending your money on live bait. So lure fishing is always uh, a better. Ooh, I just got bit. Lure fishing is always a better option. Oh, look. There we go. Now they're biting. Let me see what you're working with, Dom. Now, how much is that fish, Dom? <laughs> Okay. Okay, well, I mean, it's money, right? And it took you a second to get it in, right? All right, well. All right, now, um, I think Dom might add another, another pickerel spot that he was going to show us. Dom, can you show us the other pickerel spot before we uh, do a little uh, small, a small little catfishing in here? Um, and then we're going to go to Naharan River, guys. Um, the pickerels are around here. That one spot, the first spot that we were at where we were using the live bait, trust me right there on a 20, 30-inch lead, you'll catch them. You'll catch them. It's just a process. I don't want to waste a whole bunch of time if they're being finicky. Did you just get bit, Maurice? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it looks like Maurice got one on. Okay, well, it looks like Maurice done caught three fish in how long? Not long. Ago. Look at that. Young largemouth bass. Let me see what you work with, Maurice. There you go. How much is that fish, young largemouth? How much is that? $69. $69. How much was the XP? Nine. Nine. How much? Nine. Nine. Nine XP. Okay, okay. Hey, you caught it on a lure and you caught it quick. Dom, where'd you go? Oh, you went to the other side? You went... All right. We're going to Pike Challenge now, guys. We're going down here with Dom. Dom, what are we working with on Pike Challenge over here, sir? B2, throw it out there. Let's go.
right there in between them, just like that, huh? And we catch pickerels and bass. So let me ask you a question. Um, are you able to bait fish around here for those pickerels there, Mr. Professional Furry Dom? Right? Okay, guys. Right now, um, what'd you say? Minnows? Alright, I'm gonna throw a little, another lure on here. Maybe, you know, see if another lure works, guys. If, uh, if this doesn't work, we are gonna go catfish and maybe spend a little bit more time catching those catfish over there on the other side. Um, I think the catfish, if I'm not mistaken, they pay a little bit more XP, um, than, than the other fish. Uh, they're not as much money, but I, are they more money or are they, or is it more XP? Which one is it, Dom? More XP, right. More XP, less money. But if you have the little, if you have this, uh, the setup that we told you about, that setup, you might get hooked up into some bigger fish. But, uh, you know, you'll still be able to get hooked up into some regular fish. So right now, what we're going to do, guys, we're going to go to Songs of Summer, okay? We're going up here. Last, last Songs of Summer. We're going to put, uh, we're going to go be going catfishing right now. Dom, um, you can cast left or right. Let me know which way you're going to cast. Maurice, same thing. Now, you guys can change your leader by pressing down on your keypad. So if you press down on your keypad or up on your keypad, it's going to change the leader from whatever to all the way to the maximum. So we're going to go to 99 feet right here. We're going to put some small cut bait on. You hit R2 to change your bait. You can hit R2 if you didn't know that. We're going to go to small, small cut bait. We're going to put some small cut bait on this bad boy. And I think that we're probably going to have a good chance. You can get bit right here across the way to the kayaks. To be all honest with you, anywhere up in here, you can get bit. We're going to throw it out there like that and wind it up just a little bit. Right in the middle of them reeds right there and see if we can get bit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> remember, guys, if you guys are fishing for uh, something else, you guys want to change your hooks, make sure you have the right bait on. Now, months ago, I caught an 11 pounder on this lake on a on three pound test. Um, it wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't that much fun because uh, it was a very, very tough fight. Um, so to go in here and I'm fish, coach. you got him, uh oh. Look at Dom got one. Let's see what he's working with over here. Let me wind up real quick. Oh, no. <laughs> well, it looks like what happens when you guys set the tension on your line too much that you break the line sometimes. And, you know, that's what happened to Dom just now. He accidentally broke his line. Furry Dom broke his line. That's the first time I've ever seen him do that. I've never seen him do that before. You know, it must be because he's nervous and, you know, he's on camera. And he knows that this video is going to be seen by everybody, so he got nervous. So we're gonna let we're gonna let Furry Dom slide on that one, guys. We're sorry that you couldn't see that beautiful fish that he was gonna wind up, but he might have been lying about being hooked up in the first place. <laughs> I was snagged at the bottom, guys. Right, that's what it was. Uh oh, fish on. Uh oh, we got a fish on. Let me wind up. 
Let me see what we're working with over here. Oh, look at that bad boy. Hold on. Time out. Time out. Turn him this way, Big Pippin. Wow, look at that bad boy. Now, let me see what you're working with. How big was that beautiful caddy? How big is it? Oh, we got a 6.17 pound channel cat. How much money is that, my man? $189. Well, the bass over there, the bass over there at Texas Lake are 100 and change. Let me ask you another question. How much XP is it? 38 XP. Okay, okay. All right, well, then I got to ask you, what's the leader length that you had on there, my man? 90. 90, 90, okay. He had a 90 inch leader. And uh, what, what kind of bait did you have on? Small cut bait. Small cut bait. Small cut bait. Okay, nice fish, man. Go get another one, man. We're going to try to catch one or two more fish for you guys before we head over to Naharan Lake. We're trying to make this tutorial not too long. We're already 47 minutes into the tutorial. So we got to hurry up and end this tutorial in the next 13 minutes. So we got to exit this lake real quick. Uh, What's your leader there, uh, Dom? There we go. I got bit. There we go. I think I'm going to get one. Come on, Big Daddy. Come on, let Mike get one. Let Mike get one. Come on. See, they, the catfish like to play around here. They like to play. You know, you just got to let them kind of eat it a little bit, maybe. You know what I mean? See how he's messing with it? See how he's messing with it? Come and get it. Quit messing with it. I'm on camera right now. Hurry up. Look at that bobber bouncing back and forth. You better do something. You better bite that bobber, homie. <laughs> well, you know they're here. You know they're here. They're just playing hard to get right now. Yeah, when you guys want to go with that, Yeah, we are in peak time right now. What I'm going to do, guys, is I, you know, I, I always feel lucky over here. I always feel lucky. If you guys get one over there, let me know, because I feel I'm going to get one right over here. Boom. Now, when it's way out there like that, you might not necessarily be able to see the bobber, guys, but let me tell you right now, you're going to be able to hear that beautiful ding that we gave you. Matter of fact, if you look at the bobber, the bobber's tipping over to the side, which means that the bait is on the bottom. So we probably got to pull the leader up a little bit. <clears throat> you see how the bobber's tilting over to the side? So let me show you guys a real quick tutorial about fixing your bobber and when your bobber's tilting over to the side like that. Let's hurry up and wind this bad boy up. Guys, we're going to have to leave over to the next map. You guys got about... Maybe 30 seconds before we leave over to Naharan Lake, guys, and then we're going to go do the tutorial at Naharan. Okay. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna lighten this leader up to about to about 50, and then we're gonna throw it out there. We're gonna see if the bobber sits straight up and down. If the bobber sits straight up and down, there you go. Now you see how the bobber sitting straight up and down now. Now we know that our bait is not on the bottom. It's not sitting on the bottom. So now you can adjust your, your bobber. You know that between 50 and 99, at 99 you're on the bottom, and at 50 you're not. So you know that between 50 and 90, or 50 and 99, somewhere there's the bottom. So you can keep adjusting your, your bobber until you figure out the right distance right there of where your bait is right on the bottom. A lot of times on the catfish, you do one crank on the catfish, put it on retrieval one, and you just do one little one little crank like that, and you just slowly wind it up. 
and a lot of times you get bit. Just one little crank and you just bring it in slowly. How you guys doing over there? Is your being hard? What'd you say? I was, say I was saying that these cash are being hard. Oh, I just got bit. There you go, I get him. See if we can get bit. We're going to wind it up. If you don't want to bite it, we can. You got one? Yeah. Oh, there it is. I see it. Let me wind it up. Oh, nice fish. Wow, let me see. Face it towards the camera. Come on, pimp. There you go. Boy, you guys are crazy like that. We go ahead. You got Four odd hook, small cut bait. There you go. All right, guys, we're exiting out this lake right now. If you want a little bit further, deeper tutorial about how to catch the pickerels, we'll come back and we'll make another video for you. If you want another uh, video about how to really catch those bass in this lake, we'll come back and make another tutorial for you. But we showed you the spots. You know the spots. All you got to do is grind the spots during the hot times of the day, and you'll be okay. You, too, will catch fish. Anyway, we're going to the last part of our part one video of our interactive stream right now. We are going to Naharan Lake. Naharan Lake is going to be the same thing, same setup for the most part, same lure setup, same bait setup, and uh, we're going to go fishing for some bass, and, and uh, we're going to see if we can catch some fish in Naharan. So hang in there right now. Here we go, Naharan Lake. You know, I promise you guys, uh, anybody that watches this stream in the future, the first couple of maps are very boring. But I promise you on everything I am that when you guys get over to New York, which is going to be the next stream part two, when you guys get over to uh, New York and catch those walleyes and catch those pike over there in New York, it's going to be beautiful. When I take you guys to Florida, when I take you guys to Florida, farming those peacock bass down there in Florida. It's going to be beautiful. So the streams are only going to get better and they're going to get a lot easier from here on in. I haven't played these small maps in a long time, guys, and they came out with a new patch. So a lot of things have kind of changed up on these smaller lakes that I haven't played with. But I'm going to tell you right now, when we get into the bigger lakes, you're going to see some big fish and you're going to see some big, big fish and they're going to be caught just like that, and we're going to show you. All right, guys, we're going to Heron Lake right now, guys. Um, the uh, travel cost and everything is $3,300. $3,300, then you got to pay for your license. We're going to go pay for our license right now, let you guys know. Mike is going to go pay for his license right now. We're going to go to the shop. We're going to go to licenses right now, and we're going to go to... Naharan Lake is in North Carolina. So we are going to North Carolina and we are going to pay, we are going to pay $1,100, $1,100 for a advanced license for one day. $1,100. Now we have got to go back to the map and we have got to travel. So $1,100 and $3,300 looks like $4,400 to me. That's how much it costs to travel to Naharan Lake in North Carolina. Um, make sure you got your shiners with you. Make sure you got your little silver casting spoon and your gold casting spoon. Here we go. Not shiners, Mike. Small minnow, excuse me. Not shiners, small minnow. See, that's why I got my guys with me, my celebrity fishing guys. By the way, this is an interactive live stream. As soon as this stream is over with, we are going to end this stream and create the regular stream. So everybody that's on the stream right now, we appreciate you coming to show your love, to show everybody that wants to come and play Fishing Planet that you too can catch fish out there. And we're showing you how to do it with what to catch it with. Like I said, the first three lakes are a little slow, but I promise you that it's going to pick up on part two. Part two is going to come out 
probably today or tomorrow. So check it out. Uh, where are we going there, Dom? Dom is going to be our guide over here. Dom is going to be our guide in North Carolina. I'm going to give Dom the stage right now. Dom, let's go. Uh, yeah, if you could tell, I'd start a room, sir, if you tell me where we're going. Okay, great parking job. That, that that sounds good to me. Great parking job. We're going to great parking job. That's what Dom said. Professional furry Dom, we're going. Well, uh, I've never, uh, let me see. Wow, what do we got over here? It looks like a car in that bad boy. They got a car sunk in the lake. Okay, okay. Wow. You know, it's funny, guys, that I've never fished in the Heron Lake before, but at least I got two beautiful tour guides with me. I got my main man, Maurice, with me, and we got Furry Dom coming right now. There he is right there. Furry Dom just made it in. Now, what are we going to be using, Furry Dom? Okay, here you guys. Omnifloat 1410. Let's pull it up. Let's pull out our Omnifloat. Okay, we got an Omnifloat 1410. What's the leader length on that there, Furry Dom? And we're going to be 70 inch feet. Okay. All right, we're going we to go 70 inch lead. So he's saying, come over here and stand on the rock right there, and, and then go ahead. You just got to ding, guys, that quick. We got it. We got to kind of get it out there just a little bit further right there. We were, we were kind of sitting in the weeds right there. Now. This is Heron River, guys. Remember what I said? Everything is a grind on this lake, guys. Everything is a super grind. I appreciate all you guys coming to check out the stream, uh, coming to check out the live interactive tutorial on Texas Lake, Mud River, and the Heron. Um, it's all a grind, but it's all well worth it. I just got dinged, gentlemen. I did too. Oh, by the way, we got to double check the hot spot, the hot times. We're not, you know, when we fast forward and we come in the lake, we don't always check right off the bat if we're in the hot times. And remember what I said, if we're not getting bit, it's probably because we're not quite in the hot time.
Let me let me pull it in and let me pull it in and double check my hot time right now. Cause I gotta make sure that I'm in the prime time. You always gotta make sure. I I want to keep reiterating to everybody. You have to absolutely make sure you're in your hot time. Right now, we're we're. I wouldn't change the time if I was you guys, but right now we're trying to catch fish and we're we're trying to show you how to get bit. So I'm going to advance to seven o'clock right now. Um, I suggest my guys advance to seven also. Go one hour ahead. Yeah, yeah. That way you guys are right there at the top. Um, this particular, we're grinding bass over here, right, Dom? Or are we? Yeah, grinding bass. The tutorials are going to get a little bit funner for me, guys. Anybody that watches this stream, once I get into the to the lakes that I really fish, um, like I said, I haven't fished these smaller lakes in months and months and months, and I don't think I've ever even been to this lake. So um, I bypassed this lake on my road to Michigan. You, I wouldn't necessarily, I wasn't going to put this lake on the stream. I was not going to put this lake on the tutorial, but I figured that some people might want to see this lake. Some people might want to come to this lake. If you want to come to this lake, you know, you don't have to come here. You know, you can go and you can stay. Oh, I just got bit. You could stay at uh, you could stay at Mud River and grind down Mud River till you have enough money and you have a higher level to where you can um, to where you can go to New York. So we're gonna see what kind of fish we got on here right now. You know, we got we got a fish. We got a X Series four oh hook on here. We got some small minnows. It looks like a bass. Looks like a nice little bass over here. You know, boom. There you go. Look at that. Nice little two and a half pound bass. We got two hundred sixty eight dollars and forty eight XP for that. Um, not bad. Not bad. You know, all I did was cast right of the lily pad right there, just a little bit further back beyond the lily pad, and let them little let them little small minnows do their business. You know what I mean? So there you go. You guys, I caught a bass. My guys over here. Um, is there other uh, other little spots over here before we end this tutorial? Uh, Dom, is there any? I just got dinged again. Is there any other spots over here that that uh that's other good spots for other fish there, Dom? Oh, you're spawning right now? Yes. Okay, well, let me let me spawn with you right now. All right, guys, we're going to go catch catfish right now real quick, and then the stream is going to end, but I'm going to give you a final note before the stream ends, guys. We're, we're going where now, Dom? What rubble of old times? All right, I'm there. We're waiting for you to cast so we can see your bobber land there, furry dom. So what kind of bait are we using, Furry Dom? You can use a small bait. You can have a color of a bait like this. You can have a color of a bait like this. You can have a color of a bait like this. You can have a color of a bait like this. You can have a color of a bait like this. You can have a color of a bait like this.
How far out are you, Dom? No, I'm no, I'm right next to you, bro. I'm right next to you, uh, furry dom. I'm right next to you, sir. Oh, I just got dinged, guys. I just got dinged. Oh, I just got bit, guys. I just got bit. Booyah. <clears throat> my base been in the water for how long? You know, Furry Dom has got, the, my, 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 my guy Furry Dom and Maurice got money. You know, these are the best guys that I could ask for. The best guys that I could ask for. Look at that. Just got hooked up. Just got hooked up with a beautiful fish. Probably a Lulu. We really didn't want to get hooked up with a big fish right now because we're running the stream right now. But we're going to try to get this fish in as quick as we possibly can. Oh, shoot. We don't know. So, you know, <laughs> I knew I didn't want to come here. No, I'm just kidding for everybody that's going to be watching this stream later on. I, you know, uh, we got a big one on and uh, he acts like he doesn't want to come in, you know. So, we're not... We are going to try to make an attempt to get this fish in as quick as we can, guys. Because we have got to end this stream. And I am not going to end this stream with you guessing on what kind of fish this is. So, I've got to get this fish in. You know, Dom brought me over here. And remember when I told you about the equipment. You can catch the fish... But sometimes you might not want to catch the fish because it's going to be a heck of a fight. Thirty-eight out. Thirty-seven. We're trying to get them. Thirty-six. Thirty-five. Thirty-four. 30, come on, baby. Come on, I'm trying to show the streamers that Mike can do it. I got to catch one fish on my stream for the live tutorial. For the live interactive tutorial, I got to catch one. This is live, baby. This is live on my stream. I got to catch one. Come on, baby, give it to me. Come on, baby, give it to me. I got to catch one for the streamers. Oh, he's running, he's running, guys. He's running, guys. Oh my god, he's taking line. I almost had him, guys. Mike, Mike, Mike. It's nice. I, nice. Nice. I got one. I got one. Oh, we got another hookup over here. We got another hookup. Got him, coach. Got him, coach. Uh, now, now, I want you guys to know something. Look at that. Look at these beautiful fish. Let me see that beautiful fish right there. See, who said you can't catch catfish over here in the, in the Heron River? Okay? You know, we had a little bit slow at Mud River. We were a little slow at Mud River. But look at these beautiful interactive fish over here. Look at Dom over here. Dom got a fish, too. Move that fish up here. Let me see that fish. Put these fish in the camera, guys. This is what I'm talking about, gentlemen. Who says you can't catch fish over here? We just got over here. We just got over here. We got a 19-pound flathead right now. $543. 186 XP. 186 XP. And I'm going to tell you what line we were using. What line we were using to catch that 19-pounder. Let me show you. Beautiful fish, Maurice. How big is that fish, Maurice? 17, 17 pounds. Nice. Nice. All right. We caught that fish, guys. I Man, get out of here with that. We caught that fish on six-pound test. Is that what we caught it? Six-pound test? 
Oh nine. We caught that 19 pound fish just now, guys, on six pound test. Don't think that you can't come over here and catch these fish over here on six pound test. So I'm just letting you guys know right now, I'm gonna be ending my stream pretty soon. I'm gonna back out here. Um, let me go to my guys right now. Dom, you guys are more than welcome to stay, blah, blah, blah. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my menu screen up and end this, end this tutorial. So I'm going to go to my main screen over here, guys, um, to my inventory, and I'm just going to break it down to you guys and tell you guys that this is the, uh, the, 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 the setup that I was using. Um, I want to give special thanks to Dom, uh, Furry Dom, um, my main man, my main guide, my main man, Maurice, got money. I appreciate both my celebrity fishermen to come on the stream and to show you guys how to catch fish. How to catch fish on part one, on part one of Fishing Planet. Fishing Planet Live 2018 interactive tutorial. Mike Tyson's fast road to Michigan. This is part one, guys. We appreciate everybody that came on the stream. All 10 of you guys that put in beautiful, excellent comments on there. We definitely appreciate that. And do me a favor, guys. If you thought that this was a cool little informative video, don't miss part two. Because part two, we're going to Emerald Lake. Part two, we are going to Florida, guys. And part three, we're going to either White Moose Lake or Falcon Lake. I haven't decided yet. So whatever you guys do, don't miss part two of Mike Tyson's, Mike Tyson's fast road to Michigan. I appreciate everybody, everybody, everybody that came on the stream. You guys, it's day one, it's January 1st, 2018. How ironic, how iconic, how we did it on this stream. Interactive video right now with everybody. How many times have you seen that where you could see people go on the stream and catch fish just like that in real life? Check out part two. I gotta go. Much love, Mike Tyson.